Hey there guys, so this was some training footage from um, Friday, it was just, you know, overhead press um, and I needed to, you know, get a decent shoulder session in. So Friday is normally just come home from work, um, have a coffee and generally get stuck into it. Most of the time um, I muck around with the natural stones on a Friday, but um, yeah, look, I've got a competition that I want to do um, sort of in the earlier half of next year. So I really got to start prioritizing, you know, delts and traps and bringing up a few other um, smaller muscle groups that are going to give me big carryover to the um, bench press. So for me, you know, priority was overhead press. Um, you know, it was a simple session. Um, just start with, you know, 26 kilos um, and then add 10 kilos each, you know, set. Um, and I just do... 10 reps on the um, warm-ups and just keep adding weight until I get up to 56 kilos um, and then I knocked out a set of 12, had a decent break, knocked out a set of 10 um, and then worked my way back down. So um, in total I got you know eight working sets done um, and you know just adding a plate each time you know I don't have to think about my warm-ups. It gives more total volume. Um, obviously, you know, doing 10 reps, say, at, you know, 46 kilos before you do your 56, um, it's a little bit more of a, a warm-up than, you know, most people would like. But for me, the goal is just to get volume at this stage. Um, you know, I'm not going to go, you know, really heavy with the one-arm shoulder press just because it's just taxing through, you know, the core and a few other things. But, you know, my goal is just to pump blood into the delts and the rest of it and get um, bigger and stronger. So, yeah, um, I find for me, you know, this style of training works well. It doesn't take too long. Um, and then it also saves my shoulders for Monday um, when I have my really, really heavy bench. You know, if I'm hitting higher reps and volume work, my shoulders and everything else recover quicker as opposed to going, you know, really heavy with fives and things like that. Now, there's nothing, you know, wrong going really heavy. It's just simply, you know, if I'm training on a Friday and I've got heavy bench Monday, um, I need to make sure that I've recovered in time. And this will allow me to still recover and get, you know, the most out of my training that I need to. Um, and then after this, you know, I just mucked around with some shrugs and the rest of it. I didn't include them because obviously, you know, battery was going to drop off on the phone in terms of, yeah, power. But, um, yeah, look. I'm enjoying my training. Um, I'm soon going to be moving house again. So I'm going to have a lot more structure um, and I'm going to have, you know, a few more set, you know, training days where, you know, movements are set as opposed to just how I feel. Um, and one of the biggest things that will be coming back will be doing um, a lot more, you know, pull-ups in general. It's just, you know, an exercise that I really enjoyed, really functional gives me a lot of strength through the um, upper back, which is then going to help, you know, develop my bench press. Um, and it's little things like that that make a big difference, especially, you know, when you can walk into the garage, knock out, you know, two or so sets of pull-ups and then, you know, head off to work. And, you know, when you get back from work, knock out another two sets and, you know, all of a sudden you've done four sets that day. You do that three to four times a week and, you know, the training volume just skyrockets um, and it doesn't take much time. But, yeah, you just get a really good, you know, training effect. And, you know, that's a lot of thing, something that a lot of people fail to realize, especially with the fitness industry. You don't have to get everything all done at once. So, um, you know, by spreading out, you know, your sets and reps over, you know, a few, few days um, and things like that, you can add more total volume but your recovery is a lot better and I just view it as you know resting you know 10 to 12 hours between working sets in that regard so um yeah it makes for a much better way of training um if you guys have any you know questions and the rest of it um feel free to comment below I'm just going to let the rest of the um video tick along that way you guys you know can see exactly what I do I'm just trying to obviously bring more of my training um, up and onto this platform. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, as I said, you know, comment below. I'll do my best to get back to you um, and just have a great day wherever you are.